Welcome back to another episode of the Bacon Bros Podcast. We got me, Zach, uh, ba- uh, Baconator, Austin. Hello, hello. Free Bacon, uh, the Bacon Maker. Yo. And that's the only three that we have this week. Let's dive right in. What's on your mind, Austin? Uh, on my mind, uh, what other than the Padres Dodgers? Um, the Padres stunned the Dodgers, beating them two to one. Um, Dodgers had the first round by, uh, and the Padres came in and totally stunned them. Uh, it was their, I think, their first time winning a playoff game in general since 2004. So, you know, very much stunned the public. Uh, Dodgers came home. I mean, sorry, not the Dodgers. The Padres came home. They move on. Uh, they beat the best team in baseball, supposedly. So, yeah. Ah, uh, I mean, oh, my God. It's a very sad moment. I know. The freaking goose. I don't know why they keep, they keep like, uh, they have goose hats. But the dot, like they actually got a hit and they won that game, I think. No way, no. They got a hit on that. Uh, it's not the best team that always wins the World Series. It's the hottest team. And the Padres are pretty hot after beating the Mets. Um, it's just a lot of things to fix. Shortstop, of course. Trey Turner could play there. You could put Gavin Lux there. A lot of options there. Mm-hmm. Pitching staff, pitching staff's incredible. They sh- they have a uh, outright closer. Yeah, uh, it's that's one of the thing that things that got it done for them. Um, Blake Snell, Trent Grisham, they both shut down the Dodgers, and like the Dodgers played definitely not how they played all season. They did not play well, but yeah, uh, it's. It's on four. It's galaxy season. Raiders are one and four. Dodgers are out. Galaxy are on my mind. There's nothing really else to be happy about. LA Galaxy play LAFC on Thursday at seven. Um, they just beat Nashville to make it to the next round. And now they have to play LAFC, which is kind of going to be very interesting. Yeah, battle of the two LAs. Yeah, uh, the uh, they, highway series? No, that's freeway. 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 Yeah. So, do they play at? Um, do they play at the stadium near USC. Uh, Bank of uh, Bank of California. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. uh, Bank of America. Yeah. I I went there. I went there once. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Catch it. It's really nice. Yeah. Really nice. Sat in a one tickets on the radio on Mason Ireland. Mm. Get in a suite. So the week recap. Postseason picture MLB. Uh, Phillies and the Padres and the NLCS. Phillies beat the beat the Braves, World Series champs. Um, again, I don't think the Phillies are better than the Braves. They're just got momentum. Yeah, I mean, this is just the upset year. It's, I mean, who knows what the World Series is gonna look like at this point? It yeah, be- Guardians. Yeah, Yankees. They were supposed to play today. Yeah, but- I don't know what happened. It got postponed. Yeah. Sorry, my my mail just came in. Um, series tied two to two. They play tomorrow. Oscar Gonzalez has been clutch, clutch. And the Astros move on. So whoever wins that series face the Astros in the ALCS sweep. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I see a. I kind of see a, a Padres Guardians. I don't know. Oh, oh, 
wild card teams. Yeah. This is com- complete opposite of what we both had. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the year of the upsets. So I don't. I think the Guardians take it home. And then Padres, I mean, if you're beating the best team in baseball, I don't see them losing to the Phillies, I want to be honest. So, but we'll see. I, I would love to see the Guardians beat the Astros. I don't, I don't want the Astros to win. I don't want the Yankees to win. Yeah. And it seems like every team that beats the Dodgers win the World Series. Yeah. That's been the pattern. Yeah. Ah man, the dot they—they've been so good these past years. It's just I know. October, dude. Dang it! <laughs> One title, twenty twenty two, and it—they did. People discount it. Mm-hmm. A lot of just, just mad, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you should. Also be mad because USC lost. Yeah. Uh, you know, we took a 14-0 lead first quarter, I believe. Um, and then the refs just decided, you know what? Uh, USC is winning by too much. We're just going to have to give Utah some calls. <laughs> and that's what they did, right? And to be honest, I'm kind of glad the loss came now. Because I knew we weren't a, you know, a playoff contender. I know our defense is terrible. We have an amazing offense, but I mean, it was bound to happen. Um, next year is the year, and there's a stat that I know this is. It might not really relate to the national championship part of USC, but Pete Carroll, who won a national championship, his first season. He went six and six. So that could be good news. You know, a new head coach starting off, you know, not so hot. And then years later, wins a national title. So, I mean, I got hope. So, and Caleb Williams could win the Heisman too. He could, but this was like his first game where he's thrown, I think, more than three touchdowns. So, and know. uh what's his name dtr ucla yeah he's he's great i mean ucla is i think ucla is ranked number nine mm. Mm. they're pretty hot yeah. I, losing to utah that's not that bad and it's week seven so it's earlier in the season yeah or wait yeah so when people are building the playoff it's not as fresh in yeah. their mind. Yeah. They still have like three open games, right? To schedule. Yeah. I think you schedule Notre Dame. Yeah. At least one. Well, it's, we played Notre Dame. I know the, the two hardest games will just be Notre Dame, UCLA. Mm. Those would be the only toss ups, but. And then it's just all cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just all those. Dirty Pac-12 teams. <laughs> Washington State. Yeah, uh, Colorado. Colorado got their first win, I think. Oh. They're now they're now one in five, I believe. And their whole their whole fan base totally rushed the field. It was After the cool. win? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty pretty funny. Pathetic. <laughs> Tennessee beat Bama. Tennessee's yeah. looking good. Wow. I mean, and that was like Alabama's like third really close game of the year. They barely beat Texas AM. They barely beat Texas. And they mm-hmm. lose to Tennessee. And we're only in week seven. Like, come on. It like, seems like T teams are uh, a problem for Alabama. Yeah, I think so. Or maybe um, it's just Alabama isn't the greatest this year. USC with one loss? Eh. Alabama with one loss. Alabama with one loss? Yeah. Playoff. <laughs> it's Jeez. that's just how it is. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, people got the money on Golden State. Jordan Poole, four year, one hundred forty million dollar yeah. extension. 
Saw and that. wig four year 109 million dollar extension crazy they're they're running out of money I yeah think. i mean like, they're kind of just putting all their eggs in a basket at this point mm-hmm. I mean, with the dynasty you kind of do that right yeah true when all of them now uh salary cap happens in 2026 mm-hmm. i think revamped um but uh, it could be an under underlying theme that the warriors are struggling oh, some hints at it <laughs> maybe <The> fight <laughs> <laughs> kenny pickett concussion that sucks but he started yeah and they beat the bucks yeah Great day for the Steelers fans out there, including me. Yeah. Yeah, you pick you picked them finally and they won. I know, I know. You need to pick them more often. I know, I will. I mean, I don't know. The, I don't know what's on, what's up with the Bucks, really. Mm-hmm. Is uh, it Brady? Is it a defense? I don't know. No, I'm not too sure. Uh-oh. Cardinals just traded for Robbie Anderson. Yeah, I like so well. I like one today. <laughs> yeah, and and did you see where got uh, Robbie Anderson started getting all up in his coach's face yesterday? He got ejected. The coach ejected him. Yeah, <laughs> pretty. That was bound to happen, but it happened pretty dang quick. It makes sense that they traded him away. Yeah, <laughs> I you mean, know, uh, you go. Huh? Oh, yeah. Um, you can't really do that. It's happened a few times in the NBA and they traded him away. I was that Dennis Rodman? I don't know. In the Pistons. But um yeah, you were gonna say something? Um I was just gonna say that the Cardinals now have they have like all their receivers back. They get Hopkins back next week. Yeah. Robbie Anderson. They got Rondell Moore back uh, two weeks ago, and they have Marquise Brown, so they're looking dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, We'll see what they can put together. Maybe a a second half of the year comeback. We'll see. But the defense is not looking. Defense is looking pretty cheeky. So. Yeah, it's not like the no fly zone with (laughs) Patrick Peterson. Yep. Not like that anymore. Well, I mean, we're already talking about football. You want to just go into the NFL discussion? Sure. Okay. Uh, End of week recap, people. That's all that ever happened this week. (laughs) Thursday night disappointing. Thursday night sucks. Who plays this week? Uh I... I, th- it, I think it is the Cardinals. The Cardinals Saints, I believe. Oh. That should be a good one. <laughs> it is Cardinals Saints. But <laughs> if everybody on the Saints is injured still, it's going to suck. Yeah, I mean, the receiving core is looking like, like a college team at this point. Jarvis Landry, Chris Olave, James Winston were out. Yeah. Alvin Kamara c- carried, kind of. He had to. They lost, but yeah. they o- almost won. Yeah. And they're using uh, Taysom Hill a lot as that little Swiss Army knife. Use him, yeah, they're utilizing him pretty well. Yeah. He didn't really do much this week, but they're using him. Yeah. The last uh, week. Rashid Jaheed oh. had a 44-yard touchdown. That's... Yeah. All they were talking about on um like NFL Game Day Live. <laughs> just all the the one highlight, and that's all they would talk about. Yeah, I have no clue who that guy is, but <laughs> <laughs> um who Bailey Zappy went off. Yeah. And when they needed him to be. Mm-hmm. And Ramondre Stevenson and Chubb, like some they should trade Chubb away. Yeah, or, I mean, the, the the Browns they can they could trade 
Hunt or Chubb. Yeah. They don't really need either of them. Or they don't need both of them. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I mean, it's kind of – they can use a trade and get someone more valuable. Exactly. But, yeah. Yeah. The Jets, they beat the Packers. Yep. Brees Hall went off. I think he was one of your breakout players. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of your – that's what I thought, too. Got him in fantasy. Mm-hmm. And just crazy this week, 116 yards. Yeah, I mean, they – and it's not like they beat him by a little bit. They beat him by 17 points. Mm-hmm. Um, veteran Aaron Rodgers is – Looking like he's not the veteran Aaron Rodgers. I'll just say that. Uh, and the Jets, the New York teams just in general, they're looking looking great this year. Giants, yeah, beating the Ravens. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, two New York teams beating two supposedly powerhouse teams. That exactly. Were last year, great teams. No? Yeah. It's crazy. It's not a Bacon Bros podcast episode. If you don't mention Brian Dable, uh, oh, yeah. what he's done with this team is incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, Saquon. Yeah, just that whole – it's not even that gi- the Giants – you know, they have Saquon, but they they don't have Defense. those – Yeah, it's not like they have that that big name or that those other amazing players on the team. They're just a well-coached um, – they fight hard. Uh, and they just put it together. Yeah, like basically no wide receivers. Yeah. Daniel Bellinger is their best option. Literally. Um, but their defense is got that last pick on uh, Lamar Jackson. Mm-hmm. Defense is doing good. Yeah. Um, they shut the Raven the Ravens down to twenty points. So, yeah, they're looking good this year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's cool. It's without JT and Naheem Hines. Uh, he, Matt Ryan just had to sling the ball. Yeah. And uh, he did it well. Pittman had like 13 catches for, I believe, 130 yards or so. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he threw that last touchdown to Alec Pierce, where it was like he totally just lobbed it up, hoping for glory. And he caught it in the end zone. Mm-hmm. But um, what's that guy's name? Deion Jackson, I think yeah. it was. He put up, he put on a show. He did. Um, he had like 10 catches for like a hundred yards, and he had a rushing touchdown. So he filled in for Taylor and Hines pretty well. Um, but yeah, Colts. They find a way to beat the pretty decent Jaguars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Colts are just a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah. Vikings, the Dolphins are too. Skylar Thompson, mm-hmm. finger injury. It's, they can't <laughs> really get catch a break. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Tyree Gill and Jalen Waddle, they put up numbers. No, no matter who's playing quarterback. Yeah, they just give it to their playmakers. Playmakers play, make plays, but Vikings just a better team. Yeah, Vikings could be like a top six, top seven team. Yeah, they're looking, there's been some questions, but yeah. around there. I mean, they got the weapons. They got. The running back, they got the receivers. They've got a, a pretty decent quarterback, but um, defense is not bad. Um, but, yeah. Christian McCaffrey. Oh, they're thinking of training him. I mentioned this last week. Could go to the Rams. The four teams they were saying, Rams, Bills. Um, never mind. Uh, that's I only remember two. <laughs> so... Was it um, the coach, the head coach, that said they were thinking of trading him? I it? I saw a few things. Yeah, I I don't remember who they've been shopping him for a few weeks now. Yeah, 
If 49ers as well. Um, Rams seem like a good fit, but whoever is trading for him have to put up a real good package. Yeah, and I mean, it's a smart move for them since it's not going well just having that one, you know, that one playmaker. And they traded, they got rid of Robbie Anderson. So it's kind of like, you know, if you get a couple players, a couple first round, second round picks for him, um, they'll start winning some games, hopefully. Mm -hmm. The Seahawks let Geno cook, uh, Kenneth Walker cook, um, Bill's Chiefs. That was very, very interesting. Defensive, too. Yeah. Uh, Not the score that I really thought would be the score. Um, yeah both teams under 25 points and two of the best offenses in the league if not the best but yeah pretty good game Uh, I thought the Chiefs would take it home but you know Josh Allen just shows that he's Josh Allen and a very patch unlike Patrick Mahomes to throw an interception in clutch time too Mm -hmm. but that ended the game for the chiefs and um the bills just it could be an afc afc championship showdown i think the bills would come up on come up on top if they played again yeah and i mean the bills are hungry right since last year and the year before um so we'll see what happens later on in the year. You know, the Chiefs, the Chiefs might get their payback, but we'll see. Mm-hmm. Um, Sunday night football, Cowboys, Eagles. Uh, Jalen Hurts is just a magician running the ball. He can throw it too. He can, this, uh, yeah, Cooper Rush can't. Three interceptions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Rush was 4 0 coming into that game. But he just kind of pooped the bed. I don't know. Eagles defense. Yeah. And I mean, a couple of interceptions, you could say they weren't his fault, but he threw into traffic a lot and he threw in the middle a lot. And he was not playing like the 4 0 Cooper Rush that we saw. But the Cowboys do get Dak back next week. And I believe they play the Lions, who have a not so great defense. But it should be a good game. This Lions offense is pretty good, but yeah, mm-hmm. news for the Cowboys. Um, the, yeah, the Eagles are the team to beat. They are. Someone's yeah, gonna get them. But we don't know who. Yeah, I've. It's got to be one of the the Bills or the Chiefs to take him down. I feel like. Oh, for sure, and I think one of those. It, unless the Raiders. Know. <laughs> oh, maybe, but um, it's possible. Yeah, it's poss- it's possible. Um, but I don't know when or if the Eagles or or the Chiefs or Bills play the Eagles, but that'll be the end of their fate for sure. And I can put money on that. Oh no, the Eagles are gonna have. They play the Steelers, Texans, Commanders. Colts, Packers, and Titans. So until December, they're looking pretty they're pretty looking pretty fresh. Yeah, I mean, if that's the case, we'll hope one of these teams upsets them, right? Mm-hmm. But Steelers. Yeah, Steelers. I mean, beat the Bucks, right? And the Eagles, I mean, they're beatable, but they finally Got their coaching staff down, which is really what they needed. And their their defense improved a lot. Their secondary is like one of the best secondaries now. Um, they drafted some good D-line, Jordan Davis. So uh, they're pretty complete. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, our NFL predictions, the results from last week. Uh, it's Monday night, so the Chargers and the Broncos are playing right now. They are tied in the fourth. But we all tied, other than that, and we are going to tie. 
no matter what, because we are we all picked the Chargers. Mm-hmm. So we're all five and eight. Wow, that's uh, not so great. <laughs> you you really needed to catch. This would have been your week to catch up. Yeah, but we'll see. You're sitting I mean, in last. I got the Steelers, right? Huh? I got the Steelers one right, or I don't even know if I. Picked yeah, them. yeah, you got Steelers right. Okay. Yeah, Steelers. Right. Okay. Thirty six forty and one is your current record, Austin. Okay. Uh, yours, Dad, is thirty nine. 37 and one and I'm leading the pack with 43, 33 and one. That's Jeez. pretty good percentage. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just, that's how I do. Before we move on, this podcast is brought to you by me, my eBay store. Amcast 22. Over 100 items for sale. And I list new items often. So you can check for new items. I got a ship. I got a little shipment in. So I'm going to be listing some, some more stuff. Graded cards such as AJ Brown, Tua, Obi Toppin, and Adrian Peterson are on Amcast 22, as well as rookie cards such as Justin Herbert, Cody Bellinger. And Rob Gronkowski. Rawly Fingers 101 Auto is still on there. But the NES Classics, it sold, it sold out. So once something sells, it's gone forever. And that's what happened to the NES. So act fast and support me and Austin. Thank you for listening. And visit MCAS22 on eBay. We're back, and right now I got a basketball trivia game. So, who's playing? You are no. you and Austin. Well, I'm good at playing basketball and beating oh, one on one. trivia. So the first question I have: Oh, I got eight questions and a tiebreaker. Okay. When the first when did the three point shot get introduced in the NBA? Is it 1972? 1979, 1980, or 1982? Oh, I'm going to say 1982, D. Uh, I'm going to say 1980. You guys are both wrong. It is B, 1979. Ooh, really? Yeah. All right, I'm trying to remember all that old footage. Who was the first overall pick? In the 1983 draft, is it A, Rodney McRae, B, Byron Scott, C, Ralph Sampson, or D, Hakeem Olajuwon? Oh, oh, Austin goes first. Um, hmm. I'm going to go Hakeem Olajuwon. Yeah, I'm thinking Hakeem too. Uh, he played for... Houston, Fly, Fly Slamma Jamma, 1983. It's either Samson or who also was his team at Houston Rockets, I think. So what are you picking? Oh, it's one of those two. I'm going to go with, so uh, uh, I'm going to go the opposite. I'm going to go Ralph Samson. Ralph Samson is correct. Hakeem yeah. was the Ooh. number one overall in 1984. Uh, the next one, it's kind of, Kind of easy. What country was Kyrie Irving born in? Is it Australia, France, America, or the Bahamas? Uh, I go first. I believe it is the Bahamas. His dad is from the Bahamas or his mom? I know his dad went to Boston University, <laughs> played basketball there. I'm going to say Bahamas. Awesome. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Australia, right? And you will be correct. Mm. Tied one to one. The Bahamas is not where he's from, Dad. Okay. You just had to go with the Boston University alum. <laughs> Which team first swept the NBA finals? Is it the Celtics, 
the Bucks, the Pistons, or the 76ers? Austin? Uh, Celtics. You mean NBA after the merger? Yeah. So from 70 something till now. Oh, or- wait, no. No, it's before that. Uh, oh, before the merger. Yeah. 70, say it again. Say the teams again, please. Celtics, Bucks, Pistons, 76ers. Uh, it was probably the Celtics, but could be the box the year that Lou Alcindor was there. No, it's got to be Celtics. Celtics. Yep, 1959. Hmm. Two, two. With how many? Wait, it's my, one, two, three, four questions left. Come down to the wire. Who was the first foreign player to be drafted number one overall? Is it Sven Nader, Hakeem Olajuwon, Howard Carter, or Michael Thompson? Yeah. Michael Thompson is a lot older than Hakeem. I don't know the other two. Sven, what? Nader. How do you spell it? N A D I R? N A T E R. N A T E R. And what's the second one? Hakeem. And then Howard Carter. Oh, Howard Carter. I don't know those two guys. Uh, I'm going to say one of those two guys. I'm going to go with the first one. A. Awesome. Um, wait, it's Hakeem Lajuan. Uh, who else? Swen Nader, Howard Carter, and Michael Thompson. Uh, I'll do a Swen Nader. Could you pick Howard? Same, Carter? I picked the same. Oh, well, you guys are both wrong. It was Michael Thompson, oh. 1978. Yeah. Hmm. Swen Nader was drafted in the first round of some drafts. Where is Swen Nader from? I have no idea. I just saw it in Wikipedia. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who is next? Uh, Tutu. Who is the only player in NBA history to have three sons play in the league? Is it LeVar Ball, Eric Berry, Bruce Hale, or John Barber? Awesome. LeVar Ball. It's Oh, that's <laughs> my turn. Uh, Rick Barry had two sons. You said three sons, yeah. Rick Barry had two sons play, um, John and somebody. Well, um, it's not LeVar Ball. I mean, they came after it's late. Give me, oh, what's the, what's the other two? Um, well, it's the only player. Lavar, wait, Lavar Ball didn't. Has he ever played in the NBA? No. Austin. <laughs> oh shoot. So, uh, I'm going with Rick Barry. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> no, Bruce I, I know Lavar. All his three sons play in the NBA, but I didn't know he didn't play. <laughs> yeah, I try. I try to throw people off. Yeah, that's interesting. Bruce Hale is Rick Barry's dad. So, oh, he had three grandsons. Oh, wow, that's cool. I don't know who John Barber is. I think he's also a grandpa. Um, who was the first player in NBA history to miss 5,000 free throws in his career? Is it Charles Jones, Bill Sharman, Will Chamberlain, or George Meekin? Mikan. Who goes first? Austin. No, you. Uh, I'm gonna go Wilt Chamberlain. He was, I think, he was notoriously a poor shooter from the free throw line. Um, hmm. you're down on point. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna go Wilt Chamberlain as well because I'm not who the other guys are. And that is four three. Austin still has a chance. Oof. Does that mean we got it right? That's correct. Yes. Oh. I was going to guess Shaquille O'Neal if you didn't give me any options. That's a lot of missed free throws. I was going to say DeAndre Jordan. <laughs> Makes sense because uh, Will Chamberlain shot a lot of free throws. Got fouled probably every time. Go. And he said, and I said first because 
I mean, I'm sure DeAndre has missed like 10,000. <laughs> yeah. But what is, uh, last question. What is the name of the Charlotte Hornets mascot? Is it A, Hugo the Hornet, B, Harold the Hornet, C, Stingy, or D, Charlotte Flair? <laughs> Who goes first? Austin. Wait, no. You go first since you're in the lead. Stingy is a good one. I like it. So you're picking Stingy. I'm picking Stingy. Austin? Okay. Uh, it's, what, are, what is it again? We got Hugo, Harold, Stingy, or Charlotte Flair? Let's go Harold. Harold the Hornet. Incorrect. That oh. means da. Do, 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 do. I won. I win. Makes. <laughs> Hugo the Hornet is the correct answer. Hugo. Oh. Thank you very much. Charlotte Flair? It's just a wrestler. <laughs> She is. Uh, you see the tiebreaker, anyways. Okay. How many technical fouls does Carl Malone have? He leads NBA history. Closest. Oh. I'll go first. Technical fouls. Okay. Let's say he uh, he played a lot of seasons, almost twenty seasons. Let's say he gets five. <laughs> Let's say a hundred. Awesome. hundred technical fouls is my guess. Uh, I'm going to say 400. Austin is closest. If we were playing prices right, you'd be, you'd, you'd win because the answer is 332. Wow. Uh, why does he, he must have been injected the most too, huh? Ejected? In, 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 ejected. <laughs> <laughs> he was really buff, so maybe he did get a lot of injections. <laughs> Possible. Uh, you take you take home the pride. There's not there's not a prize or nothing. But uh, I think I gotta get out of here. You, oh yeah, huh? Yeah, I gotta make room. Okay, watch out. My least favorite part. <laughs> Walking into the room just now. Hey, hey. the man, the myth, the legend. What's up? I'm back. Hey, welcome back, uh, 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 Austin. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Well, you know what bugs me? What? Uh, thanks for asking, by the way. But I uh, just want to say, you know what bugs me? What bugs you? Today I was at the gym today, at the gym today, and I saw this sign on the wall, and it reminded me of this silly saying, a stupid shirt, or I don't know, a meme, or a, it says, Fall down nine times, get up ten. Makes no sense. Mathematically, it doesn't even work. Fall down nine times, get up ten. How how does that how, how can you fall down nine times to get up ten? If you fall down once, then how many times do you get up? Once. once. So if you fall down nine times, how many times do you get up? Nine times. It's simple math. <laughs> this is supposed to be motivational, but it's mathematically incorrect and it's physically impossible. You can't fall down nine times and get up ten times unless you're some magician or unless you know you skipped a, a time. I see this everywhere. People who think, yeah, oh, it's so motivating. Fall down nine, get up ten. No, get up. Fall down once, get up once. Fall down nine times, get up nine times. Fall down a hundred times, get up a hundred times. Bugs me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look at everything def- differently now. Motivational speeches. That's all I'm going to look at differently. I don't know. <laughs> it, I'm going to get out of here. I know uh, your producer is not happy with this small setup. So gonna uh, you're closing up, so I'll be out of here. You know what bugs me? This, this small, tiny uh, studio. I'll, I'll see you later. It's smaller when you're in it, Cram. Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah, we just got, you got a problem? You say I'm big? All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> the man, the legend, and he's not a myth. Cram, the complainer. <laughs> That's funny, because I've never seen that sign before. Is that just me? 
uh, I haven't seen him in the gym. I've only heard people say that. Yeah, it's especially pretty, pretty, pretty interesting. Doesn't really make any sense. Yes, that's what that's what Kareem was saying. You you, you hear this, Dad? Yeah, I kind of heard it. I was, you know, I don't even need to have headphones. I just I step out and I can hear everything. That guy's loud. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand. I know math. Like I get it. Yeah, yeah. Math, math. Unless you're already down, right? You're sleeping, right? You get up once without falling down any times. And then you start falling down. Then you can fall down now. But what if you're a baby? Let's say you don't you don't start your life standing. So maybe, you know, you get up once, you fall down once. Get up twice, you fall down twice. No, it still doesn't make sense. (laughs) Because you still gotta get up, right? Yeah. Unless you don't get up. That's the motivation. <laughs> That's the whole point. The whole point is for you to get up and keep moving, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> the great words of Chumbawamba and the Band Aid song. I don't know that one, but you get knocked down. You're not going to get me. <laughs> I don't know the word. <laughs> I get knocked down. Yeah. But I get up again. You ain't never going to bring me down. Exactly. That wouldn't even make sense. (laughs) Mathematically. But. That's the end of our podcast. Check out the eBay. uh, Buy stuff. And we'll see you next week. What do you say, Austin? Gotta love it. Gotta love pigs. Almost butchered that. And worse, we'll see you next week. I was going to say bacon. I was going to say bacon. (laughs) Sick.